Hey guys, welcome back to another video. On today's video, I will be showing you the Coco Melon picture you saw at the beginning of the video. It's going to be the rainbow and then the garland. So that's what we're going to be doing today. To start off, we're going to be doing the um, rainbow. So we're going to start with our color red and then orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, blue and purple. Sorry. So we're going to start with those and I'm going to show you the products I would be using. So here is the colors I am using. I am using for the, um, they're going to fall. For the red, I'm using Decomex in the color uh, standard red. So that's what I'm using for that. And then for the orange, I am also using Decomex a standard orange and that's a nine inch that was a 12 inch i would suggest after the red use nine inch if you can and five inch and then after the orange i'm using yellow standard yellow decomax and then for the green i am using the pastel lime green in decomax in 12 inch but i would recommend doing this in nine because it's too big just to be a size uh, that we're going to be using so a size 9 would do it and then for the standard purple for the purple we're using the standard decomex in 12 inches i mean 5 inch 5 inch as well here we go this is the 5 inch you're going to be using i just have the big bag to show you guys better and then for the blue also it's called pastel baby blue which is this one in a 5 inch as well i just don't have the bag so i wanted to show you that so that's where the products we're going to be using to create this rainbow so let's continue with the video we're gonna be using doing our i'm gonna put this down because i'm gonna drop them we're gonna be starting off with this double so we're gonna do the red in eight inch and the orange at seven inch so let's start with the red or let's do one in one just so we can tie it together where's our eight Okay, and then we do our orange at seven. That's it, and tie them together. Okay, so we are going to be doing that, and the total. For the rows, it's going to be 13 of each color. So inflate 13 of each color, okay? So let's do that. Okay, now that we're done with those, we will start with our green and yellow. So here is our green and yellow. So we're gonna start with the yellow at, so that one was seven inch and eight inch. So this is gonna be um, six inch and five inch, okay? Six and five inch. So let's do that. Start with those. We're gonna do thirteen of thirteen of each. Ready? Okay, now we can put this away because the last ones are the five inch 
and that we're gonna start with the blue and we're gonna do four pumps one two three four press and I would wait I want to tie them together so you hold that right and you do this one one two three so four pumps three pumps press down tie together and do the 13 times so 13 of each color again one two three four press down hold and then this one one two three press and press with one of our uh, double balloons and then we're gonna grab white ribbon and we're gonna start tying it right so you tie it at the first knot here like this and then you grab your other one and you do it like the opposite like that right so you kind of have two faces when you're looking at it so you grab your second one and you put it across and you twist. Two times and grab your other one and do the same thing. You might need something firm to put some weight, right? We should be doing it on the floor, but for the sake of the video, So, you grab your other one, and then across, remember? And you tight, firmly. Your other one. Okay, and it's starting to look like this. a little more tight go back and restrain some of them together right just so it's a little more fitted together 
together. Okay, and then you cut your extra, extra string. I don't know how long. Okay, so now you cut your extra string. And just loop right through and make it get lost. Fix any ones that might have where we're at so we're gonna do this to all the colors okay so let's move on to the green and yellow other one Okay, I had to come down to the floor to show you this. So now that we have our three columns, so we're gonna like um, put them together with rubber bands. So you're gonna line it up right underneath and then you're gonna grab two balloons and wrap them like that. See, and then we want them to like hit this one in between two. So that's what we're gonna do, right? And then one in the middle. This one, we're gonna wrap this one, and then we're gonna just like shift it so it's right in the middle. Another rubber band, and at the end, we'll do the same. Grab this one and the other one, and then shift it right in the middle. And that's how you have a stable rainbow. Let's do that to the last one. Another rubber band. And then the second one. And we fix. Like that. And another one. And did you see this start to move? Just fix them back in place so they stay together nicely. Like that. And another one. And fix them. Okay. 
and that is our rainbow and now if you wanted to like extend the size because you don't like how it's like that which in my opinion i'm gonna try to fix that because i don't like how it's just like that you can do that just to give it a little more curve i'm gonna go ahead and add like a couple more quads of the uh red and orange yellow and green to just give it more like a rainbow like an arc so let me bring those hey guys now i'm back with the rainbow so i ended up adding um four more to this end of red and orange and four more to that end in red and orange so now it's going to be 21 of this red and 21 of this orange and then i ended up adding two more to this end and two more to that end in yellow and green so that's going to be um 17 more of this ones of the yellow and green and that stays the same because i like how it turned out so it's just kind of more uh it gives it more of a you know art kind of thing it's more um rainbow looking so now i'm gonna do the white to add it to the end so it's like a cloud okay and then in this part what i'm doing is doing the clouds that are going to go at the end of the rainbow so that's what you will see me doing here i'm just blowing up balloons to different sizes trying to add you know like a little shape to the clouds and then i tie them with ribbon string so that's what i'm doing here and then we are going to go back and fill out the gaps that we didn't like like there was a quad that was missing at the end so that's what i'm doing there and i'm um, just using glue dots to glue them to the uh, garland those glue dots are not good as you're gonna hear me say at the end of the video they're not good but i am gonna use them up because i paid like 40 dollars for them but they they don't get the job done you struggle a lot so don't get those but that's what i'm doing here adding the clouds at the end of the rainbow and then i fast forward this portion because it's just me doing the garland with the same colors we used for the rainbow except for the blue the blue i used a darker blue because i didn't have the baby blue so it's uh, called decomus royal blue uh, so that's what i'm using there and i'm just making the garland like i normally do on my other videos so that's what you're going to see me doing there i'm just blowing up balloons i'm blowing up six balloons and tying them together and then um making them um to making 12 12 and then tying them together so six six and then tying those together and then tying them to the other colors so i don't know what you call it but it's two clusters of six balloons tying them together and makes them 12 so that's what i'm doing my garland ass and you'll see me doing that in other videos so if you want to learn how to make a garland go check out the other videos that i titled that you'll get a more in-depth of how i do my garlands and yeah i also blew up the four inch at three pumps and you'll see me adding those, adding those at the end of the video so that's what you'll see there so i'm just here doing all my colors and then we're gonna take you outside and finish up the setup so enjoy As you can see, I started the setup. Now we're gonna add our garlands, garlands, and I'm gonna use a 260 to tie them. Guys, it was so windy that day, I uh, regretted doing it. But you know what? Sometimes life throws you difficult situations you just gotta deal with them same thing if this would have been a real setup i would have had to pull through so i just uh finished the setup it was so windy and some of the balloons popped so i had to go ahead and blow them up again so that's what you're gonna see me doing you know at the i think at the middle of the video i showed that um so yeah guys i'm just keeping it real with you guys it was a little bit of struggle in this setup but i made it through so here i'm just fixing them adjusting them so they look a little cuter and um 
I am you know fixing the back from that one too and I am gonna bring the rainbow and start setting up for that I'm gonna bring you guys closer to set up the rainbow same thing here guys I was having a little bit of a difficult time uh, hanging the rainbow up there it was my first time trying it so you live and you learn you also need like a second person to help you do this because it gets a little difficult by yourself trying to stretch your arms behind the wood drop and your arms can't reach <laughs> anyways um, I started fixing it um, adding glue dots because they kept coming off because they're not good I told you guys about that I can't say enough don't buy those because uh, you'll struggle more so I was just fixing that and here I'm just fixing it and making it look a little cuter Okay guys, I am back with my 5 inch to finish the decoration. This is the dot, the ones I was talking about. Don't buy this. They are not good. Spend the $40 on the other ones, the blue dots. These are not good. They are horrible. Anything I can help you with today is don't buy this. Okay, and here I am adding my little 5 inch balloons that I blew up through three pumps so they look a little smaller and cuter. So that's what I'm doing here, adding like a little bit of dimension. Uh, you always want to add different size balloons to make it look a little, you know, more put together and cuter. So that's what I'm doing here. All the balloons are going to get 5 inch uh, pump up to three, so three pumps, 5 inch balloons. So that's what I'm doing here, and I'm just adding them whatever they're needed or whatever I think they could look cute so that's what you'll see me doing here just filling up the gaps with that and I think that's gonna be kind of it for that um, I wanted to add the big ones but I didn't have enough time to do that so I just did 12 inch and 5 inch but you can definitely add 26 inch 18 inch so just makes it a little more fuller but since it was just for this video for the rainbow purpose I just did that so yeah guys okay guys so we're done with our beautiful uh, rainbow this is how it turned out Remember to look at the details because some things were changed. So you can get this beautiful rainbow and then also this beautiful garden was created. So yeah guys, this is the video and I hope you guys enjoy it. We struggled a little bit, but we got it done. So you can see, you know, it's not easy. You just gotta have a lot of patience. So enjoy the rest of your day guys and I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and give me any recommendations you guys want for the next video so I can you know write them down and get them done for you have a good day bye